I'm here with three other journalists that are working with the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting, and we're here for Free Spirit's summer program. We are talking about storytelling, and we're showing some of our work and helping the students figure out what kind of stories they want to tell and work on in their own neighborhoods this summer. The idea is to help people become more familiar with the, with the craft and to kind of become familiar with the fears that happen while you're learning to um, tell stories. Our topic is about females who are affected by gun violence and we basically want to get out of this document for women to be able to speak up without being scared. Usually our in-person involvement is just for the first week, for two days. And during that time we get to know the students that we'll be mentoring remotely for the next six weeks and help them begin brainstorming story ideas. Our documentary topic is about youth organizations and how kids do have a voice in the communities and how they do matter and just trying to figure out ways to get them off the streets. My larger work is all about um, telling stories that will have an impact. And so the work being done here with the Free Spirit Media Youth in many ways just exemplifies that larger purpose. Graffiti is like so overlooked, you know, people just look at it every single day and they don't realize who made it. It should be embraced even though people say it's illegal and things of that nature, because, but it's art and it helps build the community. I wish I had had an experience like this in high school where I got to hold a camera and I got to talk to strangers and I really got to figuring out how to tell stories in an environment that has as much support as Free Spirit. They um, have an opportunity to reflect on their lives and the connections between their personal lives and the communities around them. This community is, is something, it's something better. Like even though people say that Chicago is a bad place, it's, it's good people here and people kind of overlook that. We want to open their eyes to the community and to other people.